you know technology is playing a very vital role in any any organization any business hmm. for their growth you, uh, you 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 took the very very right example the television is now in your palm earlier it was hang yeah. and it was a huge size crt and all those things now it is a flat screen yeah. where you can have high definition picture etc yeah. so if if you if i take some more example on this business side Currently, a lot of organization is 100% dependent on technology. If I talk uh, talk, talk about Ola, Uber, there's mm -hmm. so many e-commerce sites. They mm -hmm. all depend on, they all are technology-driven technology business. Yeah, so yeah. Their entire business is dri driven by technologies. Mm -hmm. So technology is playing very, very vital role nowadays mm -hmm. to run so, any business. Yeah, so some Be competitive for your growth for your future roadmap, everywhere technology plays a very, very vital role. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, sir, there is one question in my mind and I hope my audience must be also having this question. This question has been asked by many people. So, sir, AI, can it replace humans? <laughs> it is a question which is asked everywhere. See, yeah. at the end, AI is also a technology which is definitely on the hype cycle and it is giving a lot of good quality output, that's why the adoption rate is very high. Yeah. From both sides, from the organization side, CIO side, as well as from the product industry, OEM industry also. Mm. But having said that, that does not mean that it is going to replace the uh, human. Mm. If, if you are creating a use case where you are using AI to do mundane or repetitive work, they are definitely that particular work done by any human during that particular, uh, during uh, the, his job profile. Mm -hmm. It may replace by AI, but definitely you should have some alternative arrangement for that particular resource okay. to do some other activity. Okay. So it cannot so I I will not walk, <laughs> support the replacement, okay. but I will definitely... Uh, 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 go for the adoption of AI as well as look for that job rotation of that particular resource where you are fitting the AI autom uh, bringing aut automation hmm. uh, and move, removing that particular resource and rotating into some other work. Got it, got it. So hmm. sir, as a techie, which part of generative AI excites you the most? See, uh, yeah. it has a lot of use cases. If I, if I talk about my organization, yeah. We are also uh, in uh, implemented a couple of months by in particular function mm -hmm. where AI is helping us to improve the productivity mm -hmm. uh, in, in the shop floor. Yeah. So interesting piece is that what you ask is that how accurate AI is bringing a lot of accuracy compared to what human was doing as mm -hmm. well as the uh, increasing the turnaround time of any any particular process. So that is the interesting thing. Okay. Which AI is going into, and it's 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 an ongoing process. It's not that the technology is done. AI is whatever you are seeing today is is over. No, it's yeah. it AI is also going to today it is generative AI. Right? Tomorrow something else will also come up on top of AI. So okay. it it is an ongoing process, mm -hmm. and you have to understand what kind of business case use case you can create to at the end benefit your organization. In, mm. in in the growth in their altogether roadmap and growth plan. Mm. Mm. And so uh, the biggest question comes over here. So how do you ensure that oh, the output or the answer that generative AI is providing it's absolutely correct? So you have to do proof of concept first on yeah. wherever you are implementing, which are where when I say wherever in mm. which whatever function you are implementing. Like if I take my example, if we have implemented on shop floor on production line, you have to do a proper POC, see that output is coming. Also, another most important thing is that you do a risk assessment also from the uh, information security point of view. If everything is fine, mm -hmm. then implement on your production. Okay. Sir, and what is the future of generative AI? Like, what do you think? Like, how will yeah. things are going to implement when we talk about the future? What it is, is going to be there. It is going to be there. It is going to be there for a long time. Mm -hmm. As I said, beginning of my interview, is that a lot of us are in maturity level. A lot of us are, are in process of doing POC and all. And people, some of them are also thinking that we can say the beginning 
mm. in the beginning stage. So it is going to be there. And yeah. the kind of adoption is happening on the product side, the mm. OEM side, the IT technology OEM and cyber security. And yeah. It is going to be there. And further, it get enhanced to, to give you better outputs. Mm. So it is like industries are already using it. They have started using it and they're seeing yes, some yes. benefits from it. Of course. That's why it's in the hype cycle. Yeah. Top of the so, yeah. So how was it shift? Like shifting from working as uh, without technology and then utilizing the generative AI and then working with it. So how did the industry deal with it? Like how they dealt with it and how they faced uh, Was there any challenge when they shifted or was it a smooth move? I could say. See, uh, nothing is cake work. Yeah. So you need to have, uh, there, there will be challenges. The yeah. only thing is that how fast you overcome those challenges, how how mm -hmm. good you can, you are doing POC, how is your, when, whenever you are starting your, any, any, any project on this kind of technology, your background work, your data related things, everything should be in, in place properly. And mm -hmm. that's, after that you carry on. Yeah. So, sir, it was easy for people who were just who were there into this field from past years, or it was it was difficult for them, or was it easy for the new generation to adapt it, or the older generation? Any new generation is fine. They can adopt the things easily. Yeah. There are bit challenges for of change management for old generation, but nowadays. Uh, technology is is a part and parcel of any any operation any uh, yeah. any organization so we have to adopt that there's yeah. no other options are there yeah yeah sir thank you so much sir these were some questions around generative ai which i wanted to ask i hope my audience who are listening to me they have got their answers it was really lovely having a discussion with you sir thank you so much for joining us today thank you sir nice talking to you <laughs>